What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Duncan Dimanche and I'm a French photographer living in the sweet city of Paris. So today I want to show you the how and why I made a top handle with the battery included in it. So the why is pretty simple. I wanted a top handle and I needed extra battery power to charge my Sony a6500 because we all know that the Sony cameras have horrible battery lives. So instead of buying a top handle and then trying to fix another battery somewhere else, I thought I might as well have a two-in-one solution. And the awesome part is you do not have to have any tools to make this. It's gonna take you 10 minutes max. And this battery is about 5,000 milliamp. So in theory, this battery should have five times the power of an original battery. And an original battery costs $50 this whole setup only cost me about $43, $45. And if you enjoyed this video and you're new to this channel, please guys subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know if you guys have better solution than this, than what I just made because I have looked everywhere and I've seen people, you know, fixing battery packs on the bottom, on the side and so on. But I figured this was the best solution and uh, it's just space efficient. You're gonna need this hot shoe one quarter inch adapter and a tripod screw mount adapter thingy. And they use a really strong epoxy putty stick type of thing. It can really hold a lot of weight. Then I use the anchor external battery. It's a 5,000 milliamp. Then I use a one foot USB 2 cable and make sure you get a flexible one. And if you wanna make it look good and professional, I recommend using a spray paint. So you need to first figure out where you want the battery grip to go in what position. Um, this is the position I like better, facing forward. And, um, but you can also flip it around and having facing backward, like a lot of people do. So the cable is not in the way as much. And here's the two side by side. I like the left side better. That's a personal choice. So you wanna play around and figure out what's the best position for you. And then once you found it, make a mark on the battery and figure out where the center is. And I use a cloth like that to hold the battery in place because otherwise it would just roll around. Once you've done that, take your putty sticky thingy, cut two pieces equ equally, and once the paste is mixed and uniform, I wrapped it around that metal piece. I put some in it so it would really hold well. And um, once I did that, I aimed at the cross that I marked and uh, just shove it in there. and. Each paste is going to be different depending on what manufacturer you got it from. So just read the instructions. You can also use sandpaper to make the surface rougher. It will hold better. And there you go. Now it's hard. And now all you got to do is screw in the hot shoe mount adapter. And I really recommend gluing this part here because you don't want the battery to spin around. You want it to be as stable as possible. And um, then all you have to worry about is unscrewing and screwing the bottom screw. Now that you know how to make it, I want to give you guys some more info on this and uh, tips. I think I'm going to be using mine this way because I do want to keep the EVF clear and that way it is clear. And if you don't feel safe about this whole setup, which I understand, you can always put a safety lash and hook it up to the camera or the cage that is, um, or the cage you need to have a battery in it and it needs to be fully charged because the battery might run out uh, while shooting even though you're hooked on with the USB. Uh, so you need a spare battery just in case because, well, apparently it cannot charge faster than it consumes the power. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. I got inspired by the handle that H, uh, Pilotfly H2 makes for their gimbals and they have the batteries are hidden inside the handles. And it's such a smart idea. This whole space that is not being used is now storing the batteries. And uh, with that, I came up with this. Genius. I can still put a mic here and a monitor on the right and um, have everything hooked up perfectly with the small rig uh, cage that I have. I think it's a very handy dandy uh, thing to have. And if you guys have a better solution than that, please let me know. I really, uh, I'm open to any suggestions and uh, any tips on that. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video, guys. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And I will see you guys in the next one, of course. And do not forget to teach your kids photography because they will not have enough money left to buy drugs.